So this is a pretty good sized python. How big are we here? Oh, uh, we're uh, we're, we're missing, about ten. We're foot. missing a head here. Yeah, we're missing a head. So we're very about sharp knife. Ten foot. I want to show you <laughs> how tough this skin really is. Because it's not looking like a sharp knife. It's but that's not how, looking like that's a sharp knife, but it is. And once you kind of break through there, it's really important, especially when you get down in here, that you stay out of the belly area. Because Why? You never know what you're going to find. You could find a half uh, decomposed rat or rabbit or whatever the case may be. Obviously, when you get into a larger python, who a knows? Finger, maybe. Who finger, knows? you yep. never know. Uh -huh. What you have to eat is typically that back strap that's the meat that's in between the top of the vertebrae up here right. and the rib cage. Okay. So you'll have two strips, basically, one on each side mm -hmm. of meat. And you'll end up with a, a quite a bit of meat uh, when it's all said and done. Tell me about the preparation here. This is kind of our, you're doing a, what I would consider a low country, southern style, South Carolina style dish. Yep, this recipe has been in my family about five, six generations. It's a combination of two different onions, some sausage, some spicy sausage, mm -hmm. some cheddar cheese, a little salt and pepper, and we're going to put some sauteed, instead of shrimp or some sort of table meat, we're going to put some sauteed python in it for flavor. And it's with grits, right? With cheese with, grits. With cheese grits, correct. You just take that. If you take the tail, I'll take the. And very, very top. lean muscle. I don't feel any fat on these things at all. Now, Scott, these? that should be enough for me. Okay. Like cooking so much other wild game with python, the simpler you keep it, the better. We put the fresh python meat in a store bought seafood marinade. Then Sean fires up the grill and boils water for the grits. The python is sprinkled with Cajun seasoning and sauteed in butter. When the grits are ready, we add pepper, chopped yellow onions, chopped green onions, shredded cheese, and I mean a lot of cheese, a healthy portion of a spicy southern sausage from South Carolina, and of course, the sauteed python. Mix it all up and you've got cheese grits and python, a la Sean. All right. Okay. So. You ready? Oh, yeah. That's what Should I'm I here give for. you a helping? Uh... Well, you know, it's a hot day out there. I want to, I don't want to overdo it. I got to watch my girlish figure. There you go. Yeah, I know. All right. Just so you know that I'm eating python. You know, the flavor itself is very neutral. Yeah. It's a little chewy. Yep. I could see uh, tenderizing it, uh, maybe running it through a cuber. Yes. Would be a good idea, just like you do with gator. Yep. Uh, the cheese grits are exceptional. Um, the python itself, I can feel my mercury rising. Mm. <laughs> okay. okay. But that could be the fact that it's 100,000 degrees melter heat out here. Hey, Sean, thanks, man. <laughs> I enjoy. Appreciate it. My pleasure.